Hello folks, time for another video, and yes, a shave, which I definitely need, and I got some funk going on underneath these little weird whiskers of mine, I got some kind of, I don't know, some kind of thing, anyway, we'll see what happens, but I was really in a kind of a citrusy, bergamonty mandarin kind of shave today and it'll definitely fit the bill for me because i'm kind of i really want that uh you know what i mean that nice citrusy but orangey kind of scent and we're gonna go with the old amy kaizen perfect soap scent for the blistery 90 some degree day today here in New Jersey. Sorry if you hear the background noise. That is my air conditioning working overtime today. Mm. The central air is working hard. Now this is the original Kaizen base. Um, so I'm going to pop up the set notes. Boom. And uh, yeah, we'll just leave the set notes up there because the uh, ingredients is the original Kaizen base, which is actually on a container. Which, no, you might be able to see it. You might not, but there's a bunch of goodies in here. I think Peter's up to like Kaizen 2000 now, or whatever. <laughs> but I also want to thank my buddy Josh for sending me this a while back. Love the soap. Great performer. And today we are using the DS Cosmetics. 24 millimeter flat top today and that's ds cosmetics 24 mil and of course i whipped that up in the old timeless bowl looking nice and shiny today yeah got that nice sheen looking nice and slick and using the mula mula Roca with the old birch handle. Love this razor. Man, it's freaking hot in here. So I jumped in the shower. Took a late shower today because I was actually outside messing with the garden with the wife. And Blade in there today is a Wismet Super Iridium. Mum, mum, mum. There you go. Yeah, it's hot in here. It's got some nice ice water in the old Contigo container. Mm. Good stuff. Oh, I forgot to put down me sink towel. Which is the barrier between me and the sink. <coughs> Excuse me. All that pollen in the air outside today. Yeah, so when I was out there, I was getting really itchy because it was hot. And I've been neglecting my shave this week after I had such an awesome week with Sterling Week last week. So, anyway, let's get this cruising. Kaizen. Nice. Oh, I love that. Love that scent. It's a, it was definitely a pick-me-up. Like if you're feeling glum or overworked, I find this scent very, very uplifting. Mm-hmm. For my nose, it's forward on the bergamot side, you know, the orangish, orangey, which I love. Mm. Look at that lather. That's freaking great. Great lather. Which, of course, I got it all over the place, but hey, that's what it's all about. 
Let's fling it. All right. Going with the Mula. The Mula Roca. Yeah. Birch bark handle. I really like this razor. I just love the handle too. You know, I like how there's no lather ports. It just has a nice big old lather channel down there. Awesome. Now, I do not believe the Kaizen is in stock at the moment at A&E. I usually try to, unless it's a vintage soap. Try to shave with products that are available for you folks. But not that I'm trying to sell you anything. But if you are interested, I usually will have the link down below. I will definitely have the link for A&E down below. But there are other places to get this soap. And there goes the air conditioning once again. That poor thing has been working nonstop today. My poor son is back onto virtual learning at least for a couple more weeks because someone at his school came in sick with the virus so well I got some I had some funk going on underneath that whiskers today. I felt it when I was outside. I was feeling itchy. Which was a good sign to come in and shave. That feels good. Definitely can't go wrong with A and E. Some Ariana and Evans. And it seems that my shirt is liking the lather too today because you know it's all over there. Wow, that Roca is so efficient and smooth at the same time. All right. Hope everybody out there in YouTube land is having good shaves. and good stuff in their lives. Wow, that's so good. So slick the lather. Doesn't even want to stick to my face. Love the scent. Such a great scent. Do a little against the grain with the mula roca. Reminds me of Rico 
Suave. Yeah, I was out in the sun too long. <laughs> this blade in this feels really good. This Wismet. Today is midweek. I will probably post this later on today. It is later on today, but I'll probably post this tonight. Or tomorrow morning. One of the two. Except for the usual spots. As usual. Wow, that is slick. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what was going on there. The whiskers there. They were probably coming in all crooked. That's why I got to stay up on my shaves. Because if I wait too long. Get those darn ingrown hairs. Flat top. DS Cosmetics. All righty. I think that's probably going to be good. Let me just. Empty the old Sigmund the Sea Monster sink. Ooh, it's looking very whiskery. Sorry, Sigmund. Got so many of those whiskers down there. Well, oh, look at my face. It's still a mess. I still got whiskers. All right, let me just uh, rinse out the old sea Sigmund the Sea Monster sink. And we'll do a little cold water rinse. Or should I say, kind of semi-cold water. That a and &E base is definitely slicker than slick. I think I got some soap down there in the old ears. Sorry for excessive run of the water. Time for the old Lancaster <laughs> towel. As I say, the Lancaster water magnet. The only thing that you do have to be careful of when using this towel is you don't let this buckle thing over there kind of swing in the breeze and clock in the nose or the eyeball. Or you can just pop it off. It is on a snap, so it comes off. All right. Awesome job as usual with the old Lancaster towel. Wow, my face feels awesome. Okay, so that was Kaizen from a &E, the original base, the original Kaizen base. Just love that scent. Ah, so refreshing. And that was the Mula, the Mula Roca with Birch Handle today. And the blade that was in there was a Wismit or Wismat. Super Iridium. I think I put it backwards before. Or upside down. Backwards I don't like. I don't like when it's backwards, but upside down, it happens when you're old. <laughs> Alrighty. And 
Diaz Cosmetics flat top. Let me just rinse this off a little bit. I can show you that cool flat top. I don't see a lot of, a lot of guys using flat top brushes. I like it, it's a different feel. What is that? Little Weepster. But yeah, getting back to the flat top brush. Like I said, I don't see many uh, YouTube guys out there using them. I really don't even see any in the shave of the days. But I like it. My buddy Josh also sent me this brush. Just to shake that water out. Look how cool that is. Nice flat top. And it's 24 millimeter. DS Cosmetics. I love that brush. Good brush. Alrighty. So whatever I did have going on the chin there, I kind of, I guess I opened it a little bit. But hey, whatever. I just wet my face again. All right. So to finish off this awesome Kaizen shave from A&E. We have the matching splash. Love the label on this. So cool. And I believe there are ingredients on this also. But they are super small. So you may have to get your specs out on this one. Hopefully I was holding it the right way for you folks. Try that one more time. Because without my reading specs on, I can't tell. All right, let's go with the goodness. Come on, let me come out. <laughs> mm. I love this splash. It's so... is just so invigorating just has that oriental vibe reminds me of just mandarin oranges well wow, it's good can't get enough oh yes okay folks so that was the matching splash for kaizen from a &E. If you like today's a &E shave, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, pew, I hear you. I suck. And, yeah. Please subscribe to my channel. Appreciate all you guys. We're slowly getting some subscribers. I know it's like the slow season for, I guess, shaving videos. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And until next time. Glenn signing off. <laughs>